people You gotta make sure That they feel loved And that they feel good About themselves He had a closed casket funeral No He had an open casket funeral Camouflage leather suit That you see on that picture Really mm. Laid out Wow <laughs> and, and so When y'all went back home You basically You was okay But mom had difficulties Just trying to get Well I've to never work. been able to You know that's why It's harder for me Cause I've never been able To process I feel like my grief Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. Yeah, we gonna talk. Wow, when you look at, and I go back all the way because this is a crazy place to go, but it's really just something I have a question about. Like when your brother had passed away in front of that house and you went back there that day, I remember when you talked about it yeah, last okay. time on here, but how long did it take y'all to get, you know, comfortable enough to, you know, I know you, what you guys didn't move or leave or nothing, right? No, so we stayed at my aunt's house for a while. Okay, that's what I wanted yeah, to Yeah, we know. stayed at my aunt's house for like maybe two two weeks until okay, we went okay. back um, to our house. How hard was it? For me, it wasn't as bad. I just, my mom, I just wanted to take care of her. Okay. I just wanted to take care of her. Because you know, after the funeral, everybody go home. So you just left with those people. And you got to comfort those people. And you got to make sure that they feel loved and that they feel good about themselves. You had a closed casket funeral? No. You had an open casket funeral? Camouflage leather suit that you see on that picture. Really? Mm. Laid out. Wow. <laughs> and and so when y'all went back home, you basically you was okay, but mom had difficulties just trying to get. Well, used I've to never work. been able to. You know, that's why it's harder for me because I've never been able to process. I feel like my grief. I feel like I've always had to be strong because I can't. You know what I'm saying? My mama. I gotta be good for my mama. Yeah, she so, told me. And nobody ago. was strong for you. I just got it. Just me. Like when my brother gone, it's me next. Like so. Once my brother was gone, that was the man. You know, he made sure we was good. Once he gone, it's my time. Now nah, I got to make sure. Everybody good. Everybody good. Like, still to this day. Like, I'm going to make sure everybody good. Like, my That's nephew, I'm going to make sure think. he good. My mama, we just bought her a brand new car. I'm Come make on, sure man. she good. Like, That's we why. good. Well, she told me a while ago when I picked you up, she said, uh, make sure you bring make my sure baby, baby. Get my yeah, baby back. Sure. Make sure you get so my I baby make back. Sure when we went, I said she, uh, I was like, what? she wouldn't, like, she had a wreck. She had an old car. She would had a wreck. And I'm like, if my brother was here, this wouldn't even be a question. He will bring you to, and you're going to get what you want. So we went, and she wow. got what she wants, showroom flow, what she want. Like, that's what it's about. It's about years later being able to do for your mom. Like, my brother been gone for 20 years, and my yeah. mom just got a brand new car wow. without him being here. That's hard. I like, love it. I love it. I went walked in now. We're going to get what you want. You're going to get what you want. That's beautiful, man. So I, I got a shout out, uh, Little Soldier Slim. He was on that video with you. He did a cameo on the video at the My video. Show. So he was over there that day as well. Like, it's crazy because you're leaving a legacy and a history of who you guys are. And people are going to watch because of who you guys represent. Right, yeah. You know, like, uh, how, how excited are you about just the new music and the stuff that you're about to accomplish in, you know, the coming year, like 2025? Now that you got the old, uh, the old music where your brother had, you feel to redabble and dibble with that. How excited and are you? And you got a music itch back. Right. <laughs> you got a music yeah, how excited are you? I was I would be real. I'm really, really, really scared. But I'm ready. I feel like it's been a long time coming. I feel like all we ever wanted was just to bring back um with our music to his whole campaign. Um it just was, you know, all the time, like we say, all you got to do is wait on God's time. So if you out there and you questioning life, Come you on. don't know where you're going, you, you feel like for God, he ain't forget, he ain't it's his forget. time. His time is the greatest time because if you want it now, it might not be as special as it would be now. Like, I feel like if we got it like 10 years ago, it wouldn't be as great as now when BG's home. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like being able to do it with BG is just... Amazing, because it feels right. It feels right, and BG is the only one out of the whole hot boy clique, uh, out of everybody, uh, that that have done anything with you guys, right? As far as the music, my uh, nephew's done, of course, with Juvie. Ju okay, you're, he's done some stuff with. He's Juvie. done some stuff with, but Juvie. you haven't done nothing. No, I have you done, done it? You haven't done nothing with nobody but BG. But BG is the okay. first hot boy that I've done something with. That's hard. That's hard. BG's the first hot boy that um, I've done something with. BG's the first person to co-sign me. Really? Like, niggas wasn't fucking with me? Niggas and you've been not. doing this a while. So Let's talk you about it. Think. And I'm good, bitch. Right. So you was, Everybody. And I'm good. I seen you when KL was putting you, you know, doing stuff with you. Anyways. 
I did uh, see you. Yeah, so anyways. <laughs> this woman something else, man. Yeah, I've been doing it for a while, but they just wouldn't. Like, that cosign was really what I needed to put me on that, that magnitude or that level to yeah. really get out to the masses of people. Because once they see my face, the story sells itself. I don't have to do much. But it was like putting that in front of their face where they knew. They knew um, that I did music and I, that I was good at doing it. So BG was the first person that really put the put really co sign it to really put me on to like that video. I didn't do anything. I showed up with clothes and hair. And he went he, and, and everything when I got to when I got to Houston. Everything was already set up. We don't do no pocket watch. We get slow when we spin it. It's that ball of black. We sip slow on that henny. Wow, that's love. Like, all my career, I've always had to do everything. everything. And to show up and everything just be done was like, I can't do nothing but I And my book, he the realest, the realest nigga ever right now. Ever. Money making is my thing, nigga, been got rich. Got Way rich. back in 96, nigga, been had sticks. Been had sticks. Money was on me. Man, as you should, man, he is. Like I said, he for him, to, like, he did that. So yeah. unselfish. Um, Like, this nigga I was with. Goes to tell him, well, you do a lot of things you ain't got to do. Why would it come to me do a lot of things you ain't got to do? We did this all with the other nigga that can't rap you and say night. Oh, shit. <laughs> so is that some hate? Let's talk about it. But yeah, he done hit it on me. That's hate, right? So somebody came, and I don't, you don't have to say no name. Somebody came to BG and said, uh, you ain't got to do this for her. You ain't got to do all that. You don't got to do, you, 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 you don't got to do all that. You do much. a lot of things you don't have to do. And so, so you just basically know what to do. You said earlier that God will make your enemies your footstool. So you basically continue to work. You are very gifted, young lady. Exactly. You been getting to it. I yeah. like your drop the mic uh, videos, what you was doing. From a killing field where blood spill. Let you know what's real. My brother never seen a deal. 26 years and then they kill. And get like, into it. I, that's what made me say, like, when I do my stuff, what I tell you. Yeah. When I do, I'm going to get her, her, and her. And you to her. One of the first hers that I say. Like I'm gonna do mine different. I see people doing different things, but when I do it, it gotta be it gotta be on the next level. And you one of the people that helped me get there. I, I'm just appreciative. I'm no, appreciative you for people like hell. Boss Talk that when even when I wasn't a big deal, they made me a big deal. You was a big deal to us. Right. <laughs> and made, so I wasn't you know, but they came and got me and that's they made, right. they we did it and we we it was just so flawless and it's like that's how it was. So when he gave me that cosign and the song sounds so good, I'm like, this is my song. That's hard. That's my song. I own hundred percent of it. Like that's my song. So Whatever I want to do with it, I can. Well, run it so, up. You know what I'm saying? And you never know. They got we could do a remix and we might put Turk on them. Hey, <laughs> you silly <laughs> boy, you crazy. So <laughs> what else you got for my girl, man? Like I don't want to miss nothing because I got her here. You know what I'm saying? So you gotta you gotta give me your top three one more time. Top three artists of all time, because dead or alive. That changes. Yeah. Let's see. Top three dead or alive. Okay, number three. This this rap. It don't Everything. matter. All genres. All genres. Okay, that you gotta. So number three, I'm gonna put Beyonce at number three because okay. I like B. You like I like B? Beyonce. Okay. I think she could really, you know, she could she could work with the best of them. Number two. Number two. Anita Baker. Mm. Wow, you done got all the way away from the rap. Wait, Wait I got my number one gonna be rap, but my AT Anita Baker, I of feel course, like she you go. know who your number one is. Let's talk about it. My <laughs> brother <laughs> Ain't nobody messing with my brother. I be telling my daughter, she be like, my I be like, your uncle top baddest rapper alive. So now she be like, My uncle, my uncle. Like if we go, uh they have a lot of murals, of course, of my brother. Yeah. She seen one when we went uptown and she was like, Ma, that's my uncle. I was like, you, you yeah. gotta love it. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gon' talk.